Hey guys, today we're gonna to take you through the hex bar deadlift. Now this exercise is a total body movement. You're gonna feel this in your hamstrings, glutes, quads, all the way to your back, abs, and your grip. This exercise is a hybrid between a traditional deadlift as well as a squat. So in a deadlift, you're gonna come down and it's gonna be, your hip is, is the one bending, so it's gonna be more of a hip extension exercise. Whereas a squat, you're gonna come down and you're gonna be your torso is upright. You're gonna have a lot more knee flexion. You're way more upright. So the hex bar deadlift is gonna take qualities from both of this because you're not gonna be hip hinging and you're not gonna totally be in a squat. You're gonna be kind of in the middle. To get set up, you'll stand in the middle of the bar. Your feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, slightly turned out. Now if you see from my positioning here, my hips are more down and the torso is upright. You're gonna notice that this is gonna be more quad exercise than a traditional barbell deadlift would be. To perform the lift, you're gonna grab the handles right in the middle and press firmly on the ground with your feet. We need to have tension generated throughout our entire body before we start the lift. So you're gonna engage your calves, your quads, glutes, hamstrings, your abs, your back, and your forearms. You want everything fired, everything ready before we start the lift. So now that everything is braced and your tension is throughout the entire body, you're going to think about pushing the ground away rather than pulling the bar up. Keep your eyesight directly in front of you. At the top, really squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings to get that full hip extension. And we, what we want to see is the shoulders are on top of the hips, hips over the knees, and the knees on top of the ankles. So on the way down, you're gonna bend your hips and your knees at the same time, maintaining a neutral spine. Once the weight touches the ground, keep the tension for a solid second and pause on the bottom. This is a deadlift, so you're gonna to wanna to perform this every single rep from a dead stop rather than a bouncing go. So now I want to show you some things to avoid. So sometimes we see people doing a high hip placement. They'll come down, keeping the hips high, the entire rep, like this. So what we want is to drop the hips, keeping that torso more upright throughout the entire rep. Another thing that we see when, you, when we come to the front is sometimes the knees cave in. So they might cave in on the way up, you might cave in on the way down. You want to keep the knees stable, tracking over the toes throughout the entire rep. Sometimes we have people lose tension at the bottom. So they'll come down nice and good, and then they'll lose tension at the bottom. So it makes it really hard to perform the next rep with your good tension. Something else we see is at the bottom, they may come down with good tension and then try to lose it and get momentum, jerk the weight up. So we want to avoid any type of movement down here. So come down, keep it tight, back up. The last thing that we see is losing that neutral spine. So at any point of the rep, the back might start rounding. That is going to create excess pressure on the spine, which we want to avoid. So make sure it's nice and neutral the entire rep. So a couple to reiterate the right ways to do it. Keep that tension before you even start. Drive up, squeeze shoulder blades back, come down, drop the hips and knees at the same time. Pause for one second, do it again. That's a hex bar deadlift. Next time you're in the gym, let us know how that goes.